hello everyone welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Juliet so in today's video I will be showing you how I made this simple kimono blouse so here is my fabric I folded it into two so using the length of my blouse I added extra two inches to the length for allowance so to get the width of your blouse you're going to measure your shoulder measurement half of your shoulder measurement and then your sleeve length so shoulder measurement divided by two and then the sleeve length plus extra one inch of allowance that is the fabric on fold so half shoulder of eight plus sleeve length and allowance of 10 making it 18 inches in total on fold so on this open end i came down by one and a half inch and then three inches from the folded end and i'm connecting in the slant to form the shoulder slope next i'm marking the half length i'm working with so from the shoulder down i marked 17 inches which is the half length and then to mark the sleeve opening i marked from that shoulder slant point i marked 10 inches so the, the sleeve opening should be your bicep measurement. I added extra 2 inches to mine. So I'm making a line like so. So next I'm marking the bust measurement. I'm working with divided by 4 plus 1 inch of ease. Then on this line I'm going to mark the half length round divided by 4 plus extra 1 inch for ease. Then on the down part, which is the length of the blouse, I'm going to be marking the hip measurement there divided by 4 plus extra 1 inch of ease. Next, I'm going to add extra 2 inches to that measurement like so. The same for the half length. And then I will use my ruler to connect both points together. So I'm marking the same thing on this line, the bust measurement, I'm adding extra 2, but I'm going to just curve past it like so. That's just for guide. And then on the sleeve opening side, the allowance, we are not really going to be working with 2 inches, it's going to be less than that. Next I'm marking the neckline of 4 inches wide, and then I'm marking one and a half inches for the depth so this piece we are marking now is the back piece so next i'm going to cut out starting with the neckline and then the shoulder slant and then i will cut the sides So this is it for the back piece. Next we are going to fold our fabric again into two to cut the front piece. So I'm placing it like so. The fabric is folded into two just like the front. So I'm placing the back piece on top of it like this. And then I'm going to use my chalk to trace all around the back piece like so. I'm going to trace all around it including the the lower part that's the length so after tracing it out I've removed the back piece next I'm going to mark nine inches from the top so I'm placing one and a half on the neckline since we removed one and a half for the neck so I'm going to mark nine inches so the front let's let's call it yoke is going to be nine and a half inches so i'm going to mark that all the way to this side and then i will use my ruler to connect into a straight line so this is the upper part that is plain so we're going to cut that out first before we continue So 
Next on the neck, first of all, I'm going to mark the front neck. So placing one and a half on that back neckline, I'm marking five inches. So the front neck is going to be four inches wide and then five inches deep. So this is it for the upper part of the front piece. So next we're going to add extra allowance on the remaining half of this. So on this hem part I'm going to add extra half inch. And I also recommend that you add half inch on this side, this side with the curve, this sleeve opening side. I didn't add, it wasn't much of a problem but I highly recommend that you add so we don't have any shortage at the sleeve opening side. So now I'm cutting only the upper part. No, it's folded into two, but I'm cutting only on the upper part. We are going to replace the other piece of the front with a patterned fabric, just like the picture on the thumbnail. So after cutting, I am pulling it over. I had ironed that place, so that is the front part. I'm adding half inch there. That's the center point. So I'm adding extra half inch on that midpoint like so, all the way to the down. So like I said, you should add half inch on this other end as well, just to be on the zipper side. So after cutting this piece out, we are going to place it on another fabric and cut out exactly the same thing. And here you have it. So if you are particular about the side you want the plain fabric to be and the one where you want the pattern fabric to be, you should take note of that. I just, my fabric, the plain fabric actually didn't have a front or a wrong or a good or a bad side. So I just changed it how I wanted it to sit and this is it here. So I'm going to go join this two front pieces together using half of an inch like so and then next we're going to make this uh, mock uh, pocket piece i have this fabric here and folded it's folded into two so i'm going to mark five and a half inches like so all the way down and then i will mark three inches like so so i'm going to connect these points and then cut out So next I'm folding it into two, I'm going to mark one inch up from this end like so and then one inch in from this other end and then I will use a ruler to connect these two points together and then I will cut out that part. So after cutting this is what we have, so we're going to go so using half inch round those corners like that all the way to the upper part as you can see then we'll turn it to the right side and iron so here is it after ironing and then i've joined the front pieces together and this is what we have so next i'm going to measure four and a half inches from the midpoint and then i'll place it there that's basically just the that uh, this thing the dart measurement where you normally place your dart, that is where I placed it. You can bring it closer to the middle if you want to. So next I'm placing this yoke piece on top. I'm going to go join them together using half of an inch. After that, this is what we have. This is what the front piece is looking like. So I have gone ahead to cut lining pieces for both the front and the back. I'm lining this completely. So I'm placing the lining on the right side of the front, this is the front piece. So placing the lining on the right side, I'm going to go sew the neckline using half inch. And I will do the same thing for the back piece. So after sewing the neckline, I ironed it and this is what the back piece is looking like. I'm going to place the front piece on top of it, right sides together. 
and I will go join the shoulders. So I'm going to join the shoulders, the main fabric to the main fabric like so, and then the lining to the lining, right sides together, as you can see. I will do the same thing for the second shoulder. After that, this is what we have. Next, we're going to sew the turn up for the sleeve. So opening the blouse like so, I'm going to measure across the sleeve part. This is the sleeve opening. I'm going to measure from this end to this other end. And then I will cut out a piece of fabric that's a bit more than that length. That, and then it's four inches wide. So I'm folding into two now. I have two of them for both sleeves. So I'm going to fold it now and notch the middle. Then I will place the middle on the shoulder point from the inside. So we're placing it on the wrong side of the sleeve opening. I'm going to pin it together. Then I will go and sew. Then turn it back to the right side. And then stitch it down. Just make a tack at the shoulder point. I will do that and show you. So after sewing it, this is what we have. I have tacked that point, and this is what the second sleeve is looking like as well. Next, we're going to go join the boat, the body together using the measurement we're working with. So here I'm marking the half length measurement, and then I'm going to measure the round from the midpoint, quarter of the half length round plus one inch of ease. And then the same thing on this opposite side. I'm going to do the same thing for the hip and then I will connect to the sleeve opening. So for the sleeve, just check to make sure that you have more than what you're working with. I needed 8 inches for the sleeve opening. And I had 9. So that is it. Next on the down part, we're going to mark the hip measurement, but we're going to leave about 6 inches of opening on the down part. So we're not going to join the sides all the way to the down. We're going to leave about 6 inches on this down part open. So our sewing is going to stop at this point. So after sewing, I've trimmed a bit of the seam allowance, the excess. So next I'm going to go fold this down part that is open like so. Fold it to the wrong side and then I will go sew it down using my pins to hold that part in place first. I'm going to do the same thing on this opposite side, fold it to the wrong side. So I'm going to repeat the same thing on the opposite side as well. We're going to go sew that down. And then do the same thing on the opposite side. Then I will hem the lower part of the dress like so. And this is what we have. That is basically it on how to make this simple but beautiful blouse. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like this video if you learned anything. Subscribe and I will see you in my next video.